When it comes to pi, if you start from the crust, you're a monster. <laughs> you, you start from the tip. In 1986, I was a sophomore at Northwestern University, and as part of my Northwestern, as part of my financial aid package, uh, I had to work in the cafeteria. One day, this kid walked through. He grabbed his uh, tray, his silverware, his napkin, and he chose some uh, meatloaf, uh, little mashed potatoes and gravy, some green beans, and then he stopped in front of the dessert aisle and reached past the first layer to get to the second or third and pulled out a giant slice of chocolate cream pie. Now the way pie works in a cafeteria is uh, they're sold by the case. Six in a case, they come frozen, uh, individually wrapped, you buy dozens at a time. And it's somebody's job to open up the boxes and unwrap the pies, and cut the pies in pieces, and then put the pies on plates and the plates on trays and the trays on racks and racks and coolers, and then reverse that process when it comes time to eat. Um, there's a tool you can use to mark the pie so that all of the pieces turn out to be the exact same size, but when you're cutting dozens of pies, that just takes, it, it just takes too long. So you end up using a butcher knife. You make three quick cuts on the pie. Every once in a while, that third cut is a little too close to the second cut. So you get a tiny little sliver of pie on this side and a giant slab of pie on the other. That's the slice of pie that this guy took. <laughs> he takes it back to his seat. Uh, he's eating with friends. They have a great conversation. He finishes all of his meatloaf, all of his mashed potatoes. Then he takes his uh, dessert tray and he switches the plate with his entree plate. So now the pie is right in front of him. He takes his second fork, because um, you don't eat pie with the same fork that you just had mashed potatoes and gravy and meatloaf with. He cuts down through the tip of that pie and, and then he turns the fork upside down and lets it sit on his tongue for a second and just savors it. The, the buttery graham cracker crust is a little crusty and crumbly. The chocolate filling is really rich because they use real cocoa. And the cream is light and airy. It was delicious. <laughs> He goes in for the second bite, and as he does, a dozen peas roll out of the pie onto his plate. Peas. <laughs> There's this thing that happens when peas roll out of your pie onto your plate that you can actually watch happen from afar. <laughs> because at that point, nothing in your world makes sense. You look down at your friends, you look up at your friends, you look down at the pie, you look at your friends. You start having this frantic conversation, and the, the more you think about it, the less it makes sense. You think, well, maybe I missed it. Maybe it was on the menu board, and it said like chocolate cream, chocolate pea pie, and I just missed it, and that's a thing that I don't know about. So you cut through the pie again, and more peas roll out of the pie. Now you've got dozens of peas on this chocolate cream pie, uh, and, and meanwhile, on the other side of the cafeteria, myself and my friends are laughing hysterically because an hour of anticipation has now come to fruition. <laughs> <laughs> because 20 minutes before he had grabbed the pie, I had grabbed the pie. <laughs> I took it back to my seat. I had two forks, a knife, a spoon, a glass of warm water, an extra plate, a little bowl of peas. See where I'm going with this? And I used the water to warm the knife, and then I cut through that layer between the chocolate and the whipped cream, and I used the two forks to lift off the top, carefully set it on the separate plate. The spoon, I scooped out the inside, and I ate it. <laughs> and it was delicious. And then I filled it with peas. All except for the tip. And then I carefully put the top back on the pie, and I smoothed the edges, and, and I put it right back up on the dessert tray, and I moved it. <laughs> Not too long ago, I took a college trip with my 17-year-old daughter, and uh, while we were touring the college at the cafeteria, two girls came out from the kitchen area. One of them had a little bowl of grapes, and the other one uh, was going to catch the grapes. They spread themselves out a little bit under a vaulted area, and. They saw me looking at them, and they got a little embarrassed, and they were going to stop. And I said, no, no, do it. Do it. You can do it. I have faith in you. 
So they started throwing these grapes up into the air one after another, and the other one caught them one after the other, and then they raised their arms in a V, and they high-fived each other, and they gave me the double gun salute of <laughs> appreciation for having faith in them. And I, I know that college is about studying and, and, and doing well and uh, trying to get a good job afterwards, but as a parent, I'm really hoping that she has the opportunity to have those types of friends and practice circus tricks and, and maybe possibly design and execute the second best pie-related prank of all time. <laughs> Thanks.